Hey guys, I am Forever Game. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Part 70. In the last episode, we uncovered the Spring of Power. And in this episode, we're trying to find the Merchant Hood, which I believe is... Um... There, maybe? Hmm. Um, either there... We'll go here first. We'll go here first, because I'm not necessarily sure. But it's somewhere near the Spring of Power. It said in the right hand. So we're gonna try our best. Ooh, we're gonna try our best to find it. Ooh, if we can just make it through this without any injury. Go, go Link. Okay, I think we're going this way. Yes, we're going this way. So. In the right hand, I'm assuming it's in the water. Over here-ish. Not that. Um. Anything? Not over there. Let's look over here. I don't see anything. I don't know if it's, oh god. Ooh, run. Like. It said in the right hand of the dragon. In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the Spring of Courage at Dracozu Lake. Like... In the right hand of the dragon. Maybe here? Let's go here. Up. We're going up. Worst comes to worst. Excuse me. Link. Thank you. Like, what the fuck? Okay, so we need to go this way ish. We're going this way. We're going this way. Um, I've never tried to find the merchant hood, so we're doing our best. Worst comes to worst, I'll Google it if we cannot find it at this location. Debatably, I probably should have done that before, but who cares? I'm trying to do things myself in the Breath of the Wild Let's Play. Give me this. Is it up here? Huh. No. Hmm. Well, you know, we tried, so... Hmm. I guess I could Google it. Okay. Breath of the Wild Merchant Hood. The Merchant Hood is located in, oh my God, I don't need the whole spiel. Apparently, it's over here? It's over there. So, okay. I guess this is where we're going now. Huh. It said the right hand. One could say I'm a bit confused. 
One could say I'm a bit confused. Maybe it'll maybe it'll reveal itself when we're up there. Huh. I would have never found that. Never. It's sad. But it's true. Too bad. Too bad. Too sad. Okay, so... We should be nearing it. Somewhere. Um... No, we need to be down further. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, maybe it's... in the dragon? Maybe it's in the dragon? It said in the right hand of the something... In the right hand of the dragon that consumes the spring of courage. So I guess it meant the stone dragon. So maybe it's here? It's not here though. We would have seen it. We would have seen it. Is this This is the right hand of the dragon? How odd. Maybe we could go look at the other side. We would have seen it. We would have seen it. Like, like it's around this area. Look, like I'm, I, I'm looking on the map. It's around this area. I just don't know where. Climb up the platform that the stone claw is clutching and look under the claws. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, maybe, no, look, it's this hand. Let's go this way, Link. Like, okay, let's try over here. Climb down. That's not what our first Link. Oh my god. Link, work with me. Where is it? Where is it? Like, it's not here. Look under the claws with the magnesis room and find the varied chest. There. Thank fucking God. Like, Jesus. Thank God. Okay, we did it. Ravio's Hood. The hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wear into a painting. Wear it increases your sideways climbing speed. It's a rather rare find. Yay! Okay. What are we doing next? We are gonna go... I kind of want to go, um, is it here? I want to go here. We're going to go here now. So, we are going to make our way. I'd like to go to this settlement. I believe that's where it is. We're going here because we haven't been here yet. And I would like to make some form of progress. I think for the summer, for the month of like May-ish, we're going to be doing, and like May and like June, we're going to be doing like the tropical, like deserty things. 
And then, so hopefully, by the time that summer is over, hopefully the Let's Play will be finished, obviously. But, by the time that summer's over, we'll have at least done all the summery things. I think it's cute to do all, like, the tropical things in the summer. Um, we're gonna grab the horse. Let's take Marin. I feel like we don't take out Marin as much. Because Argo's faster and we're trying to fix Argo. Not fix, we're trying to tame Argo. So, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I understand how to ride the horse. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna ride the horse across the bridge. Hopefully the dragon doesn't spawn. We're not gonna stop. We're... I'm... I was about to be like, we're not gonna stop if the dragon spawns, but we might. We might, I can't lie. It depends on if it's... If it looks feasible. Because I don't want another scale. Like, I would like a horn or like a, a nail. Because we don't have either of those things. But it does not look like the dragon is going to spawn in front of me, so... Marin is safe for the moment. Blah, blah, blah. Shrine nearby. I have no idea where it is. But we're going this way. Towards the sea. Ooh. Bananas. I'm gonna stop and pick up any food we see. Because I feel like we run out of food so quickly. I'm choosing to believe... Yeah, I believe we can just take this road all the way there. Oh god. Um, ooh, let's wear the Ravio hood. That looks so ridiculous. Um, and then equip... The Forest Dweller Bow. The Kokiri Sword. Not the Kokiri, the Forest Dweller Sword. And that's fine. So, lightning shouldn't strike us. But yes, this is Ravio's hood from A Link Between Worlds. Mm. Ravio and Hilda. Love them. I like Hilda more. But like, Ravio's lovely. That's a Yiga. Oh, maybe they're not. Step right up and buy them. Oh, yep. Yep. That's a Yiga. They're obsessed with the bananas. Oh! Never mind. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I figured. I was like, that doesn't make any sense now. Give me the Master Sword. Damn it. I don't really need the vicious sickle. Yay! But I figured that was a Yiga. I've never encountered them as banana salesmen. How odd. Oh, that's different. Okay. Do you have anything to say? ZL. Famous place where love can be reality, huh? Oh, sorry, I was talking to myself. I was just talking about a place called Lover's Pond. They say it's to the south, and I think I saw it on a map once. It's literally heart-shaped, which is surprising to me, but I don't know what I expected. Okay. We'll go there later. I've been to Lover's Pond, I believe, once. I think there's a quest there. Is that a person? Oh, it is. Yay! Master Sword's running low on energy. That's fine. Hello. What would you like to give me? Uh, you should have said my neck. Too bad I got nothing to pay. Oh. Oh, it's food. That's what I expected. Uh, I ran away from Lurland Village just up the road. The whole place stings of cut up bait and fish gut. Oh. That's no life for me. I'm going to make my living as a scavenger fishing around high rolls rubble for neat stuff. Uh, Not much of a choice, really, since I uh, can't swim. 
Oh, I didn't need that image of Lurlin Village smelling like fish guts. That makes it a lot less magical. I can't lie. Amber. But yeah, we're going to Lurlin Village. This is the village where I had heard nothing about it. And I had just, I was just walking the coast of Hyrule. I was going south from, I believe, Hatano. And it was just there. And I was like, oh my god, this is so magical. But nobody had ever spoken about it. So I was like, oh my god, am I the first person to discover this? But like, no, obviously. But like, it was so lovely. It felt so wholesome. That was my only point of like, where I was like, oh my god, I've discovered something in this game. It was wild. It was very cute. Um, this way. But yes, Lurlin Village. I love it. It's my favorite settlement in the game. It's so wholesome. I'd want to live here. Like, I would live here. I would live in this cute little village with these palm trees and these coconuts. Lurlin Village. It fills me with such a joy. It fills me with such joy. Like, my god, it's so beautiful. Lurlin Village! I love it. Lake! I love it. Oh, it makes me smile. We look ridiculous, but it's fine. Okay, so where is... Okay, the shrine's up there. We're gonna go do that. I don't remember what shrine this is, but we're gonna go to the shrine and then we'll look around Lurlin Village. But yes, I love it. I feel so at peace now. Um, we are gonna put on our climber outfit. And then I guess this out, this shirt. Oh, I feel like he is climbing a lot faster with both of them on. I cannot wait till we get the shirt where I really don't know, but maybe. I think it's probably a shrine quest if the pants were a shrine quest. Yarin Shrine. Please let this be something fucking simple. Please don't be an apparatus. Please don't be an apparatus. I beg. Please don't be an apparatus. Please. Please don't be an apparatus. Is an apparatus? Oh no, it's just this. That's fine. Yay! Um, I'm not sure where the... Oh god. Ooh, give me, um, this nice broadsword. Give me this chest. Is it a key? The knight's broadsword. Okay, um... Can I do this? <gasps> I can. How lovely. Um, I'm gonna throw away this knight's broadsword because it's almost broken, and then we'll just get the other one. Drop. Is the guardian sword better than the broadsword? Is it better? I think it's better. So, drop this guardian sword. Give me the knight's broadsword. Thank you. Do I need to go back and get the... Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. We need to go back and get the, the other one. 
The shrine seems somewhat simple thus far, but I've been fooled before, so. Let's go. Can I take it through the thing? I'm just gonna take it. I'm just gonna put it over. And then... You're gonna take it. And then we need to make our way over there, so... I like this. Pull towards me. This. I'm a good link. Then put this over there. Why did that not work? Do I have to do it on this one? Yay! Okay! That was somewhat simple. An opal, not particularly worth it, but sure. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. And then do basically the same thing. Up, link. Yay! We solved the shrine. That was simple. I like that one. Oh my god, Link. Examine. Blah, blah, blah. Promise of a hero. Thank you. May the goddess smile upon you. Yay, we did it. So now we can explore Lorelin Village in peace. Hopefully, I don't know how many side quests are in Lorelin Village, but we'll try to find as many as we can. I don't think I've done a lot of them. I don't remember any particular Lorelin side quests. But maybe I'm just forgetting. Okay, so uh, Lorelin Village. It's so lovely. It's so lovely. I mean, like... Ugh. So. Let's go around and start speaking to the people. Um, it's... Oh! Side quest. Hello! Are you a traveler? This is Lorelin Village. We're a small fishing town and proud of it. My husband is a fisherman and I have two sons who will probably grow up to be fishermen too. What should I cook for tonight's dinner? Make your seafood paella. It's so good and yummy and great. That settles it. I'll make some seafood paella. Yay! We seem to be a bit short on ingredients. We need goat butter and a hearty blue shell snail. I'm so busy with the housework that I don't have time to go shopping for ingredients. Oh, I know. Could you go and get me the ingredients? Sure. I'm happy to hear about that. I'll be waiting. What's? I do halfway remember this side quest. I did this one. I remember this one. Give me this crab. Damn it. Where did it go? Damn it, it despawned. Ooh, another one. Hello. You're a traveler. I'm a fisherman of this village, but we're in a bit of a bind lately. Monsters have taken over the best fishing spots. You used to be able to pull in a good haul at Aeris Beach, but these days, you'd be lucky to leave there with your life. You look pretty tough. You think you can take care of them? Consider it done. Good stuff. Remember, it's called Aris Beach. The monsters have set up shop there. Stay sharp. Take back the sea. I don't remember this one. A dog. A coconut. Palm fruit is a coconut. 
But like, I love the music. Everything about this village is so lovely. Um, there's nothing here. What is that? How am I, how do I get that? Oh, how do I crouch? No. This. There. I completely forgot that crouching was a thing for like a few minutes. That's sad. I don't crouch a lot. We're getting all these hearty truffles. Um, I do not see another one. Ooh. The fisherman's shield. Oh. Hold on. It said often carried. Often carried by fishermen for its great design, which represents hope for a great catch. Its light wooden construction makes it convenient to take onto a boat. How lovely. Okay, so now... Let's make our way... To the other side of the village. So we can go talk to the people over there. Do you have a quest? No. Okay, what about over here? I'm assuming we may be able to buy goat butter at the shop. Nothing. I love the music. It's so wholesome. Um, just an inn. Nothing here. What about over here? Is this the shop? I don't remember really the layout. I just remember the vibes. Oh, it's a game. Psst, come here, no closer. How'd you like to be rich without having to work for it? Oh. <laughs> hey, simmer down. I'm not talking about anything illegal here. See those treasure chests over there? What do you say a little wager? The idea is you pick any chest you want and open it. Simple, right? The best part is, whatever chest you open, you get all the money inside. Of course, only one chest is worth opening. Hm? Don't come crying if you pick the wrong one. Before you go opening new boxes, you'll have to show me what it's worth. What's a bet after all? If you don't stand to lose a bundle on it, that's the part that really gets a man's heart racing. It's up to you how much you want to throw in, but the more you bet, the more you stand to win. A man like you must have expenses. Couldn't hurt to make some quick cash right here and right now, am I right? What do you say? Um, we'll do this later. We'll do this maybe in the next episode. I'm trying to find the side quests. I don't remember ever having done that mini game. Give me the palm fruit. What's up here? A house that nobody's in. A boat oar, made for paddling boats, but it was made sturdy enough to fight strong currents. Maybe, we'll, we'll, maybe it's useful for self-defense and a pinch. Um, we'll get one of those later, maybe. Ooh, a person. Do you have anything to say? Hi. Don't these fish look delicious? I caught them myself. You've gone sailing on a raft? Um, I don't believe so. Well then, let me tell you a bit about it. I understand how sailing works. Fishermen like us have learned years of expend, experience, you know, currents, korok leaves. Hmm. Yes, I like fish. Oh. And that fish looked delicious, I caught it myself too. You're welcome to help yourself, I cooked way too much. Thank you, roasted porgy. Soft and fluffy texture of this seafaring fish has been enhanced by roasting it over an open fire. The crisp, aromatic skin is particularly delicious. Yay! See, everybody in this village is so lovely. Except maybe that man who owns the gambling shop. Okay, so I need goat butter. Iron shell, armored porgy, mighty porgy. And then the arrows. Um. Not really what I need. But you can stand on the boat. But I think that might be all for now. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring Lurland Village and probably do that little mini game. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!